Hey guys, here's a look I did specifically for hooded brown eyes on Sarah. This is a new series I want to incorporate into my channel, so let me know what specific looks you want to see. Let's get started. I'm priming Sarah's lids with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I use this shade as the yellow tones cancel out any redness or purple darkness around the eyes, especially those little veins. Sarah has hooded eyes, so I want to make sure the shadows are still visible when her eyes are open. To do this, I find her crease and blend the soft caramel brown upwards into her upper crease. Making sure it's very blended and smoked out. Next, I want to create the illusion of a deep set crease just on the outer area of the eye. So concentrate that darker shade right on the outer corner and blend it into the crease. To make her eyes appear more open, I'm applying a shimmery shadow right on the lid and taking it a little bit further into the crease and blending it out. This will create more lid space and larger eyes. I'm using a shade that will complement brown eyes and her skin tone, but you can use this technique with other shades as well. Just cleaning up the under eye area with a makeup wipe and going to create a winged eyeliner. Someone's excited for eyeliner. With hooded eyes, we want to stick with a thinner eyeliner only because we don't want the liner to take up the whole lid space and cover the eyeshadow. I just start with the wing and then fill in the rest of the lash line. Sarah has quite normal skin, so I'm using a moisturising primer all over the face. She also likes full coverage, even though she has beautiful skin. This Naked Skin um, foundation from Urban Decay is gorgeous. It also is quite buildable. You can see I'm layering it on thick. Once it sets a little, then I'll blend it out with a beauty blender. This will ensure the coverage is still there and not gonna be soaked up by the sponge, but the sponge will create a flawless finish. For concealer, I'm using NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is a great lightweight concealer which adds a gorgeous radiance to the face, hence the name. I just apply it with a concealer brush, let it set and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Again, I find this method creates the most flawless finish. For the cream contour, I mixed warm almond and almond 
from the Bobbi Brown palette and I just applied it with an angled brush. I apply it to the hollows of the cheeks, the hairline and the jawline. I love applying it with an angled fluffy brush as it spreads the product evenly. Then I blend it out with a beauty blender to make it melt into one. To set everything in place, I use a translucent powder. Even though Sarah has fairly normal skin and the foundation most likely won't slide off her face, I still want to set it, especially if she is going to be photographed. To highlight, I used the banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just in the areas where I added the light concealer. This brings light to the parts of the face that you want to brighten and make more pronounced. I could leave the contour here, how it is, but I do like it more darker, especially when you are being um, photographed because it just makes it more visible in the photos. So I'm just adding some bronzer to deepen the colour. For this look, I want to keep the eyes open and bright, so I'm just lining Sarah's bottom waterline with a light eyeliner. See how the right eye looks more open. Sarah loves her eyes to appear bigger, I mean who doesn't? But most people think darkness on the bottom lash line makes their eyes look smaller, but really it creates a shadow so they appear larger. For Sarah's brows, I'm using the Dip Brow in Ash Brown. She has quite nice brows already, so I'm just filling them in and sticking to the shape she already has. I start by brushing the hairs upwards then across. This will show the true shape of the brow, then I just go in with light small strokes. We forgot to film how I applied her blush, but I just used the other side of this fan brush and then flipped it over to apply the highlighter. For mascara, I'm using Urban Decay Perversion. As usual, I really love this mascara. Lashes, we're using the Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, they are probably my favorite drugstore slash chemist bought lashes. Sarah loves when I pinch her lashes together. For lips, I wanted to keep it cool toned, so I'm lining her lips with ColourPop Skimpy, then applying Lime Crime's Cashmere.
The cool tones on both the eyes and lips complement the warm tones on the skin. What do you guys think? I said earlier I want to create more looks on different skin tones, eye colours and skin types so you guys can see more versatile looks. If you want to know more about Sarah's hair, she is the mastermind behind it, so go check out her Instagram, I'll link her profile below. Please like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.